The factory, as we go around the factory, you'll see on the floor there are yellow lines marked out yes. along the floor. We need to stay behind those yellow lines, it's just for your safety. Um, you can follow me past the yellow lines if I go past the yellow lines and say follow me, but if yeah. not, please stay behind them just for your own safety. Okay? Um, can we take pictures? You can take pictures around the factory, it's not a problem at all. Take as many photographs on that as you like. Yes. stage anywhere around the world is going to be built here in Marshall. Um, as you'll see as we go through the factory, a lot of the process is very hands-on, it's very labour intensive. Um, it's the only way we can build the amplifiers to the high quality that we do. So as you see all the little parts that we have to undertake to make the amplifier what it is, um, you'll sort of like begin to understand hopefully why Marshalls are such high quality amplifiers. When we build an amplifier in the factory here, we don't buy any of the metal parts in. We actually manufacture and fabricate all of the metal parts from the amplifier from scratch. We have two machines to do this. The machine behind you, which works from a coil fed process, so all the metal is sent into the roll and comes off the coil. And then we have a flat sheet machine, which is currently being serviced, which takes sheets of metal. So these are the two machines, and what they will do is they'll punch out all the holes in the uh, sockets jack sockets for the power um, and also for all the pots on the front of your control dial. So they're all punched out by one of these machines. Takže tady to jsou takhle všechny kolové součásti, které se tady používají na výrobu těch kamarádů, tak se vyrábějí tady, nic se nedováží. Jsou tady na cíle ty dva stroje, když nějaký flat machine, to je nějaký list nebo nějaký válec, který je teďka ve opravně. A všechno se dělají tady. Um, one of the things that we've introduced recently is on the old style amplifiers, such as the old JMP that you've probably got, um, you'll notice that they've all welded and then they're plated after they've been welded. Um, with our new amplifiers, um, these are prototypes so you can't see the, the, the final effect, but what we started using is a machine just here. And what that machine will do is we'll take two pieces of metal where it's been folded over and then it will push through this piece of metal and into this piece of metal and it expands like a mushroom underneath and holds it in place. There's no rivets, there's no extra parts, it's just simply a very clever process that expands that metal underneath. Takže teďka popisování uh, proces, který uh, nějakým moderním způsobem spojují uh, pouhý součástky, říkají se to, že uh, je to tato, ten přístroj a ty kouhá. Temperature or pressure? No, it's, it's pressure. It pushes, pushes the top piece of metal down and then opens into a button underneath and holds it in place. Similar to aerospace and cars they use for, for that technique. The big benefit of us using this new technique was that we can use Zintec chassis, so the metal is zinc coated, which you can't weld. But what it means is the zinc which is coated on the metal, if you scratch that, the zinc corrodes faster than the metal underneath, so actually your chassis won't rust, the top will heal and protect the, the amplifier underneath, so it stops the chassis from becoming rusted. The technology is also zinc, and the point of it is that zinc corrodes faster than the metal underneath, we still obviously do do the old style 
chassis with the welding and the plating for old products such as the old 1959s, the old JCM 800s. Those products are still done in the traditional way, but our newer amplifiers are all done with this new method. Takže ty starý aparáty jsou nějaké jako by ten starou metodou, ale ty nový jsou všechny ochráněny z toho novou metodou toho pořadování. So things like the, the new Inve mount scheme, JVM, the AFD 100, all of these can be done in this process. Takže uh, aparáty uh, mount steam, slash, uh, 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 NVM, jsou dělání pod tou metodou. So as you can see, that's pushed that piece of metal in the top through and then made a button underneath. And this means that it's always consistent. Every time it's always secure, solid. And, that's a, and this process with the bent over is as strong as any weld. So it gives us a very strong chassis to put all the amplifier on. Takže výsledek je takový, že to je nejpevnější možná metoda a to chassis je opravdu odolný při použití. Takže teďka ten tam se vádí, jak se v tom chassis dávají tady tyhle ty stojky, ty stojací, do kterých se potom přidělávají transistory a veškerý ty ten vníček zesilovat. A tomu přidělání těch vystoupilých součástí se používá metoda jakýsi vibrace. Obviously the process is very labor intensive, but it means that we can, with each individual standoff or insert, we can make sure that the foot is secure, so we always make sure that the foot and the quality fit into the, into the chassis. Takže ta práce, nebo ta leta činnost je jako náročná na většiní zpracování, ale zase na mou stranu, to poskytuje tu výhodu, že která ta součástka se jako ručně může zkontrolovat, jestli se tam nějak nehýbe, nebo se tam nějak nehýbe. A obviously, if there's any problems while he's inserting the hose, he can then reject that before it goes on to the next page. Takže kdyby tam něco bylo špatně, tak tady ten pán to rovnou vrátí zpátky, aby se to upravil. This is a main warehouse for all of our UK made products. And the reason there's very little product made here, and very little product stored here, is because it's all made to order. So what you'll tend to get is you'll get the products we made, that we put in boxes, and each one of these pallets of amplifiers will be destined to go out in the next couple of weeks. So everything's done on a very lean basis. So that when Vitek places an order for the amplifiers to come through, and then we put in the system that we've made to that order. So we, we don't build thousands of amplifiers to stack up and just take them away, they're all built to order. That allows us to obviously maintain an eye on all the issues. So if we have any quality issues, we can, we can make sure that we're on top of those. But it also means that we can make things for specific countries. You'll notice that all of our um, boxes have a, a small letter after them um, on the code. Um, if it's got an E at the end, it will be destined for Europe. So that's uh, what you'll be taking over in the Czech Republic. Um, H is home market, so that's for the UK. You'll find that a lot of the product that's sat, a lot of the products that's in here will be destined for the home market because most of the stuff that's destined for Europe or the States will be shipped out on quite a constant basis, so you won't see a lot of the products that are around. Nacházíme se v nějakém místě, kde, kde jsou uskladněné právě věci, které jsou vyrobené a připravené na expedici. To H tady znamená, že to je home, to znamená, že to bude uskladněné do tady v Anglii. Jinak tady vidíme nějak krabicí zabalený, zabalený věcí nástroje NAFTA. Oni vyrábějí zboží tak, že nevyrábějí do, zá, do zásoby zesilovače, no tak, ale podle, na objednávku mají tu možnost to takhle řešit, že pokud například my v PNC něco objednáme, tak oni, oni to pravdá, jako vyrobějí tu objednávku. A, a 
neřešejí velký sklady. Neřešejí velký sklady a jinak tady tohle to je nějaký sklad, který místní právě to ty objednávky se můžou expedovat. Takže oni přesně vědí, pro koho vyrábějí jako objednávku. Co... Já si jenom dovolím krátkou sotku. Vlastně minulý rok na tom kurtu, který se snažil, byla vlastně vždycky velkou se natál jako další ze svých produktů. Bylo to tak, že Jim Marshall hrál před lety jako bubeník s nějakým svým kamarádem, rozdělili se zatím, co Jim začal dělat bedny, tak ten druhý člověk začal dělat perkuse a bicí natál, takže minulý rok se nějakým způsobem spojili a Marshall dneska propaguje i bicí značky natál. Je to součást Marshallu, ale není to úplně jejich produkce. Na vysvětlenou. Two metal press machines in the factory. The first one you saw, which goes from coil-fed um, steel. This machine here goes from sheet-fed steel. So we have a sheet of steel that size. We fed into the machine, and that machine will then punch the holes out of the shafts. Jeff, it's the The difference between this machine and the machine over there also is the machine over there can bend some of the metal parts up as it comes off the coil. This machine here will only punch out the flat sheet. Once the flat sheet's punched out, then the press there and it will be manually formed into the shaft.
um, the electronics department is separated into two different areas. We've got the hand wire section, which we'll go to first, and we'll see people building amplifiers in the hand wire section. And then we've got the main line, which is where they'll build things like Class 5s, JBLs, AFD100s, any of the mainstream products that we make. Tady jsou šasí, které potom půjdou do elektronického nebo elektrického oddělení, které jsou dvě. Jedno je to handwire a potom druhý, který je, je druhý. Tam se, tam se dělají glass pipe. No, ta, ta, ta hlavní produkce, Like a, a model kit, a model, 
uh, or building modern planes. Yeah? Yeah. So they have a, a drawing and they can work to those drawings for each stage. So, um, so one of the, the test stages is when we're building these on these lines here, um, once all of the circuit boards and um, all of the amplifier is built, it goes to the end and there is a computer and the amplifier is plugged into a computer and it runs a series of tests. So it will ask somebody to turn the volume to 12, press a button, turn the reverb to 3, press a button, and it tests all of the different components to make sure that everything is within tolerances Takže, když se zapadí, 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 když se zapad